Good morning, welcome to the forecast discussion for Monday, August 8th, 2022. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Just want to let you know, tonight at 8 o'clock, we will be having our live coverage. So uh, we'll have our live chat, and we'll talk about everything from thunderstorms that are going to try to develop around the region to some tropical activity in the Atlantic. That's right, it's starting to heat up again. And, of course, the potential for a bit of a pattern change, which we'll talk about a bit in this video here. So, this morning, it remains muggy and uncomfortable and just about ready to be done with this season and looking forward to fall. I know out in the malls and the shops, we're already starting to see all sorts of fall stuff you know like pumpkin spice and stuff like that so yeah i think everyone's getting ready to will this uh, uncomfortable uh, air mass out of the region temperatures this morning range from the lower to mid 70s over the far northern interior upper 70s in your suburbs upper 70s to lower 80s in your urban areas we have some areas of patchy fog and scattered cloud cover winds are generally from the southwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour on our latest radar and surface map from WeatherTap, you can see a series of troughs here hanging around the region. This cold front back here will be marching through our region by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. In the meantime, we're going to be stuck under this tropical air mass. And the thing with the tropical air mass is this. Most locations just remain with scattered cloud cover and muggy, hazy conditions. But, much like yesterday, right around, let's say, City Field uh, on Long Island, you can get a few thunderstorms that could spark up, and those thunderstorms create outflow boundaries, which could spark up other thunderstorms. So we'll have to keep an eye on that for this afternoon, and again, the same thing for tomorrow afternoon. But the primary story for the next two days will be the heat index pushing into the mid to upper 90s, possibly even over 100 degrees so definitely dangerous conditions out there if you have any type of health conditions i would stay indoors drink plenty of water and relax until this hot and humid tropical air mass clears out and if you are working outdoors definitely be sure to hydrate and try to stay cool uh, when you start feeling a little bit run down because uh, this air mass can certainly do that to you so we're going to be waiting for this cold front right here that will be ushering in a polar air mass, which is supported by this high pressure system way up here. So that's the overall theme going forward over the forecast for the next couple of days. On the visible satellite picture, you can see areas of low clouds and some patchy fog here, and then some clear skies over central and southern New Jersey. And on the infrared satellite picture, there's our cold front back to the west, which showers and thunderstorms right around Chicago, getting ready to drop south. So let's dive into this forecast. For today, hazy, hot, and humid. Watch out for an isolated thunderstorm or two. Temperatures will rise into the mid to upper 80s on Long Island, lower to mid 90s everywhere else, with a heat index pushing into the mid 90s to lower 100s. For tonight into tomorrow morning, look for a few areas of patchy fog. Other than that, just uncomfortable with low temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 70s over the interior mid to upper 70s in your suburbs and upper 70s to lower 80s in your urban areas for tomorrow afternoon look for the threat for a few isolated widely scattered showers and thunderstorms that cold front will creep a little bit closer to the region but still remain under this hot and humid air mass look for low temperatures i should say high temperatures to range from the lower to mid 90s over the interior upper 80s to lower 90s on the immediate coast, and mid to upper 90s in the I-95 corridor. On Wednesday, our cold front starts to press south, and with that, areas of scattered showers and thunderstorms, and some of these thunderstorms will pack quite a punch, so just be prepared for that. Look for low temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s over the interior, mid to upper 70s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 80s over the interior, mid to upper 80s along the coast, and upper 80s to lower 90s in the Delaware River Valley. On Thursday, the cold front will continue to drop south with additional scattered showers and thunderstorms. Look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 60s over the interior, lower to mid 70s along the coast. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 80s over the interior, lower to mid 80s along the coast and mid to upper 80s in the delaware river valley 
Now on Friday, Canadian high pressure will build in. You're going to notice much lower humidity, clear skies, and much more comfortable weather conditions. Low temperatures will range from the upper 50s over the interior, lower to mid 60s in the suburbs, and upper 60s to lower 70s in your urban areas. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s over the interior, and upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and mid 80s in the Delaware River Valley. On Saturday and Sunday, high pressure will be in control with clear skies to sky cloud cover. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 50s over the interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in your suburbs, and lower to mid 60s in your urban areas and along the immediate coast. High temperatures will range from the mid to upper 70s over the interior, upper 70s to lower 80s along the coast, and lower to mid 80s in, the, in your urban areas and in the Delaware River Valley. On Monday, high pressure will remain in control, but a weak cold front will be moving through in the afternoon hours with a few isolated showers, more like a trough than anything else. Look for low temperatures in the lower to mid 60s over the interior, mid to upper 60s along the coast, and high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 80s. That is your forecast discussion for today. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.